Yeah, that's all I've got on the screen so far. I don't. I want to make oh. sure we're all around the same volume first, and then no, I'll Cobb hit the says, stream up. Cobb says we are all good, yo. Cool. Let's roll. Boom! All right, peeps. This is Kev. I'm back from France. Holy I uh, crap! I'm on top. Yeah, you are. I put Dave on top this week. He's up there somewhere. Uh, I've got a bottle of cider for today's ramble. Sour roll. Oh. Pac-Man's down there as well. And, and I got my, my favorite t-shirt. Snatch. So wait, wait, wait. You got cider. He's got a t-shirt. I got my sunglasses. But you know what else I bought? This baby right here. Because I got to keep the oh. We're doing Saints Row 4, motherfucker. We are. <laughs> I've got my lady here. My leader of the Saints. She's currently dressed up as Goku. Because why the fuck not? Why not? <laughs> uh, that's actually pretty awesome. Great. So we might as well just jump into Saints Row 4. And by jump, I mean do this. I love the jump animation. That that sort of... It's like halfway between the way Superman leaps off the ground and the way Hulk jumps through the air. Yeah. And they land like Iron Man. Alright, so... This is Saints Row 4. That it is. <laughs> Can we just can we just point out just how significantly better the PC version of this game is? All right, yeah. First things first, don't play this game on a console. <laughs> no, don't. Not well, worth it. PC, so I, I cannot. So, is is it, am I correct in saying it was one of the console versions? I want to say the PS3 is actually the worst version of this game. Well, that does, goes without saying. <laughs> hey, that's not always. But I've seen it, I've seen the 360 version being played as well, and that is awful. Oh yeah, they're, they're both they're both they're both pretty janky. Just between the fact that every time it auto saves, the game freezes, and the terrible frame rate that just goes up and down whenever it decides to. Yeah, I, I'm running this game right now on my PC with max settings. Mhm. Mm and it's, this is this is maxed great. out. This is maxed out right now. Nice. Uh, Cobb says that Pac-Man and I are a little low. Can you adjust that, Kev? Uh, I can certainly turn me down. Okay, there you go then. Boom. Is that better? I can just talk. I can talk. Is that better, Cobb? <laughs> that should be better now. I don't know, man. I played it on Xbox. It doesn't look terrible. It's pretty good times, man. I mean, it's it's the Saints Row, man. We're back at Steelport. So you see, this Florida. is where I'm thinking, like maybe it's once you've seen it on PC, that's when it gets disruptive for the console experience. I don't know, sometimes oh, that's well, a thing. I've got sunglasses on, I can't even see what you guys are doing right now, man. Well, yeah, I mean, if if, if, if you've never seen something better, then you obviously <laughs> you think that what you've got looks alright. Yeah. Although I do have to say, uh, for the first mission where you have to go buy a gun, uh, I, I, I discovered a little glitch. Um... Because you know how you can customize your guns, which basically makes them turns them into other guns? Like, you can turn the, the MP5 into, like, the Thompson and stuff like that? Uh, yeah. If you do that during the first mission, at least on the 360 version I was playing, it, like, kept not buying, like, not counting it as you bought guns. Like, you would walk out of there with guns, you would go up the street and come back in, because it kept telling you needed to go back in there and buy guns, and it'd be like, you don't have any guns! And I'm like, but I totally just walked out of here with, like, three guns. I don't understand. I want to yeah, make I want to make it clear. It just said on the screen there. I've collected seven hundred of these cluster things, which are pretty much just the agility orbs from Crackdown. Is that why you can fly like Cole from uh, Infamous? It's not Infamous. This is what Prototype Guy does, right? Yeah, this is this is super super prototype. That and the running up walls and the yeah. jumping, except way better. So this is the best Crackdown and best prototype game that's ever come out. Oh, prototype. Yeah. Prototype was so overrated. A lot of people were like, oh man, prototype's so good. I was like, no, it's not. You know what? I it's... thought it was awful. It was. Just like, because it was, was so awful. it was fun as hell running around, but it was so boring outside of that. And it was the same with Crackdown. It was fun yeah. to run around. And that was it. If it, if you want to play well, a game actually... about running around, it's great. I hey, did, did Gingerboy says uh, a buddy of his has eleven hundred clusters, so uh I'll be there eventually. Yeah. Yeah. So you're behind. You I, I did. I did enjoy the prototype games, but they they had a lot of rough spots. This, uh, the new Saints Row is really great in a lot of ways, but they they reused a lot of content. A oh, yeah. lot. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I mean, I mean, first, the, first, you know what? But you know what they didn't reuse? Something what? new. 
Vice President Keith David. That's all you need, man. I don't know. I actually kind of felt like that wasn't funny or entertaining at all. Just kind oh, of like, oh, I love it. Why, dude? He, uh, who did Keith David used to voice in the old Saints games? I can't remember what his name was. Uh, Je- Julius, something or other. I think so. It was the, the original head of the Saints. Yeah, and they actually so, referenced cool. this. They actually yeah. reference it in the game. They, which is cool. They, they do. They do. But I don't know. I just didn't. I haven't gotten anything out of it. But I mean, there's some things in the game like uh, like there's there's huge texture packages where. It's obviously lifted directly from Saints Row 3. Like, the same, you know, those the, that same batch of shitty tattoos that we've had since Saints Row 2? They're still in the game. The tattoo selection for this game still sucks. It's so, <laughs> it's so limited and so shitty, whereas everything else has gotten better, and the tattoos are still complete garbage. Well, maybe they asked about tattoos, and nobody cares about tattoos. Hey, Pac-Man, Man. can we see your tattoo? You want, you want, well, actually, the one I can show you. No, no, I want to see the one on your ass. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, it's the feed, man, it's the camera. Give us the exclusive uh, shot of the, the ass tattoo. No, no, no. Kev will show us his tramp stamp if you show us your tattoo on your ass. No, I don't, I, I, I'm too skinny. All I'd really be showing you is a jagged tailbone. Yeah. Although I do have to say, with the, the addition of all these superpowers, I don't drive anymore. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you don't drive, you don't need to fly jets, it's all kind of, all that stuff's kind of pointless. I think it's... I, I kind of I, I kinda do, just because I like doing the drive-bys and the shooting from the cars. I think it's pretty telling that the vehicle customization screen in this game is like four things, rather than the 20-something yeah. that it was in the last game. They don't well, expect you to I'm do I'm guessing that. they like focus-tested that, because I mean, honestly, how much did you possibly ever do? I, but, I mean, look at how fluid the powers are. Like, they really did make it, uh, you know, the, the combat in this game. It's it's fun, and it's really easy to do and just go completely crazy. Yeah, I'm yeah. happy that they brought new wrestling moves because I love nothing more. I, that was, like, one of my favorite things about Saints Row the Third was the, like, run up and then just DDT a guy into the ground. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, I do like the fact that there's just like an unholy amount of weaponry in this game it's there's ridiculous. so many types of, there's so many types like like every every core type of gun has like what like 15 different alternates at, at once you unlock them all like yeah. it's crazy that's what the people want man the guns and and i gotta admit like the humor in this game is is pretty funny yeah has anybody seen uh kung fu hustle Oh yeah, that's a great Dude, movie. Dude, that needs to be a that needs to be a move that gets busted in this game. <laughs> <laughs> like where you fly up into the air and then you see uh, Buddha in the sky, and then here comes the fist, baby. Man. I do. I like the the only thing I'll say about this game is I actually really do like the guy who's done the the main voice of the main character for the last three games. Like Troy I didn't switch Baker. out. Which one do you choose? There's four in this one. Well, I mean, no, I do. I no, always do the Cockney accent. I, sure. I, I don't. I didn't use the Nolan North one just because I've played so many games where he's used that voice that I, I, can't. I just love that. That's a choice. It's like yeah. voice one, voice two, voice three. Nolan North. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's unfortunate that people think he always sounds like that because the majority of his video game work, he actually doesn't use oh, no. his real voice. Um, he was the the crazy Nazi guy in the zombie maps for Treyarch. Uh, I don't know. Not sure how many people know that he was the penguin in the Batman series. I mean, the dude's got range, man. Yeah. 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 He's not just Nathan Drake. He just always gets requested to use that voice because people like Nathan Drake. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna chase down this thing because I've got some uh, some wanted level that I might as well get rid of. Wanted, dead or alive. There we go, and that's me back to not getting chased by the police again. I fucking love this game, guys. Dude, the fuck, the 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 soundtrack is awesome. The new mix station. Oh man, amazing, so, dude. Yeah, I got they a custom Outcast, thing. They play uh, uh, the Hardaway. What is love? No, the best, the best is the channel that Riff Rap is hosting. That shit is hilarious. Uh, did your did your guys' characters sing the Paula Abdul song or try yeah. to? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's at the beginning of the game. Yeah, it is. So right now, Aerosmith is playing on the radio. <laughs> nice. 
don't want to close my eyes. That's fine. Uh, when that song gets played at the beginning of the game, and I won't spoil it for people who have yet to start, it's I amazing. Like it's it fucking it's like... amazing. Yeah, they're like, they're like, oh, he's going to do this, and it's like, I don't want to close my eyes. <laughs> The, the best, the best is how he becomes president. That was the greatest explanation for how they how, how they set up. They didn't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. There was no fucks. There was no fucks given in making how they made him president. And it's just like, yeah, that's how that's how it is. And then the whole like, what happened to my rule? I need a gun laid out every <laughs> three meters. No, oh, he's like he's like a gun every five feet and a grenade launcher every ten. Come on. <laughs> I think when I think about Saints Row 4, that is the term that comes up the most, is just, they don't give a fuck. Nope. No. I think when they sat down and designed this game, they were like, alright, look, we got all these assets that we could just give people superpowers in. It's basically going to be a huge mod for the game, but I reckon it'll be fun. And when it comes to design, design decisions, like when your department says, should we be doing this, what about balance, just remember these words. No one gives a fuck. Nope, it's a video game. Just have fun. And that is what this game nope. is. It's just pure fucking fun. Pure unadulterated. How, how come we couldn't tweak the size of people's butts, though? <laughs> yeah, you got titty size, well, but just, not butt size. Is tweaking the size of people's sex appeal not good enough for you? It but, doesn't but it's adjust only the half, butt. It's only, it's only half sex appeal. Yeah. But did you want your dude to have a big old ass? No, I wanted I wanted my girls to have big old asses and then roll around with a bunch of like Dunkin' Dunks with AK forty sevens. Alright, I mean like this one? <gasps> but ow. I'm gonna do an actual mission. Let's do that. Because as much fun as jumping around the city is. This get the best thing about this game, what differentiates it from like crackdown and prototype where all of the fun was in the transition of the level. This actually has some fucking cool content in it as well. That it does. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's still your same run-of-the-mill, ridiculous, like, filler quests. But there's a lot of really good side stuff, too. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And i got to say, the way the mission structure works in this game and the way it purposefully rips on another game franchise, fucking brilliant. And also The Matrix. And all of the Matrix references are fantastic. <laughs> and this this game is it, just it, it, it's isn't so there a many called Whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, can too. Yeah, it is good. It is good. You had me at Halo. <laughs> the best thing about it is is uh, the way they reference the old ones. Like they got Daniel Day Kim to come back. And they've got Shondi meeting Shondi. Yeah. Which is pretty funny. Shondi from Saints Row 2 is in the game as well. Weirdly. Yeah, and that's that's uh Eliza Dushku? Yeah. Eliza Dush. She's hot. She is she is she she is fine as hell. Um and she she was she was on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. She was the other vampire slayer. She was on many things. I think people She's know on Eliza Dushku at this point. You do what? I think everyone knows Eliza Dushku at this point. I don't know, she's kind of fallen off in the past, you know, five or so years. She did Dollhouse. I'm rescuing Pierce from his prison in the Matrix. His prison in... Oh, that's what you're doing right now. I haven't actually Oh, uh, dude, story. I remember the, at the start of Saints Row the Third in this level where you have to murder all the hookers that are trying to... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like all the strippers that are trying to kill you. It was the stripper party. This is... Everyone gets stuck in their own nightmares in the Matrix. So this is obviously Pierce's. His is uh, Saints Row energy cans. Uh, or Saints Flow. What I don't like is that they've gone, all, they've done away with the fun formula, and rather than just saying fuck it, give them all the powers, they actually try and tie into the storyline how all your weapons and powers are restricted in these simulations. Uh huh. So it actually takes effort. Well, almost. Yes, I'm playing on the hardest setting right from the get-go, and it is actually pretty tough. Like the yeah. guys will do a lot of damage to you if you just if you're just like completely mindlessly reckless. But I mean, yeah. by the time some you of get the to bosses them... are hard, like that sheriff you have to fight at the beginning. Well, they've also changed the way health works, right? Like if you're not in the real world, then you have to pick up health like this. You have to kill dudes, and then you get health pickups. So regenerating yeah. health doesn't work anymore. Yup. Yeah. Yeah. And it's and it's tough, but I mean, by the time you get to the mid game, 
You're so powerful. Like, I mean, you're really, like, I mean, I mean, you've got, like, fire and ice and all sorts of super speed and super jump and every kind of gun and, yeah. Kind of the and beginning of the pick game. Up more guns. No, I'd say, Jimmy, you're good. We're still going to kick that ass. Like, within the first, what, 40 minutes of the game, you suddenly got the ability to use super speed and super jump. Uh, it might even be less than that, man. Yeah. But yeah, super speed, yeah. super jump. It's pretty much part of the And this is why I love this game. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait to get to this part. Nobody steps out of church in my town. Can, can you get to a better position so we can see him better? Is this uh, the last opportunity for Bill Murray to show up and help you out? I really... Man, can you imagine if Bill Murray showed up? Dude. Oh my god, if Bill Murray made a cameo in any game, it would be amazing. I would buy that game just for that. I mean, I mean they had Burt Reynolds last time, why couldn't they get Bill Murray this time? Here we are, at the top of the stairs now. I'm going to try and get a better view of this thing. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Alright, let's try and get these weapons. Is this thing... Wow. Just wow. Have you played any of the uh, co-op? I haven't. I haven't actually. I haven't found anyone to play with yet. Maybe uh, you got on Steam, didn't you, Pac-Man? I certainly did. Maybe we should give that a try at some point. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, he shoots lasers from his eyes? <laughs> <laughs> Fire oh, the laser. Awesome. Hey Kev, how far, how far in are you at this point? Uh, well, according to the save screen, I'm about 45%. How many hours have you put into it? About 14. I have spent a lot of time collecting, uh, those orb things, though. Power! Jesus you Christ. got to have power! <laughs> ah, I got killed. That was tough! Yeah. These giant Saints oh, the, flow cans the, are pretty rough. Dude, the bosses are tough. That sheriff at the beginning was kicking my ass. Because I'm like just trying to tag him with rockets. He, it's clearly not hurting him, so I had to pull out the pistol and lay that buster down. The Although, one... can I say it was a really lost opportunity for them not to play Mr. Sandman at the beginning of the uh, the Mayberry part, <laughs> we'll call it. Yeah. It should have been bum 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 because they had a song that was similar, but it wasn't quite there. Yeah, I I gotta believe they just couldn't get the rights to it because they clearly wanted to um, invoke that. Mr. Sam. Jesus. There's a part of the game. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll tell you the hardest part that I've found so far where I died over and over again was you know when the Terminators first turn up? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. They're called murder bots but you know they're a riff on Terminators. Yay. Those, I mean there's there's so many I mean this this game's just one pure homage to all the crazy shit that they could put into one game. Oh yeah that is. Uh, and we haven't even entered the Dominatrix yet. <laughs> This bit's incredible. Jesus. <laughs> I should say, I haven't played this bit before. This is entirely new to me. There is so much... Like, I know a lot of us worry that this game... And even though this game does reuse some some of the assets from... Well, a lot of the assets from 3. Yeah, but there is a lot... There's a lot of new content in this game. Oh, yeah. Like there's All so right. there's so many more big set pieces for one. Like there was there there's like there was maybe two or three things as big as this that were this elaborate in three and like this is just one of many crazy things that are gonna go down. Like they don't really do boss fights, but every big mission line ends in something pretty friggin' crazy. Yeah. I love me the Saints Row. Oh, and now there's helicopters. Oh shit. He's gonna and he's gonna smash the helicopters. Oh! I'm trying to suss out what I'm going to do here. Uh, it says to fire rockets. But I don't have any rockets. There's ah! got to be a place to... Uh, it's alright. I got the ammo. What? 
Shoot him, Kev. Man, you suck. What kind of shot was that? <laughs> How did you miss that guy? Yeah, he's only, you know, as tall as a building, Kev. Whatever, it worked. Man, these guys just blow up into the mist. Yeah. Oh, that was a brutal just, like, kick him like he's nothing. Like, I'll admit, him. I'm not that far into it, because I just haven't had a whole lot of time to play, but... Oh, man. I miss the luchadors. I don't know. I, I, I mean, that's that's got to be something Americans and, I guess, Mexicans appreciate more, but, the you know, the luchador wrestler thing, I always thought that was really, really lame. How Canadian and racist of you. I get you. Well, no, I mean, I just saying it must have more more meaning for for people who are more accustomed to that because it just seemed it just seemed like the super super lame version of of wrestling, which itself is amazingly lame. Yeah, but masks and stuff. Yeah, but they're not even cool masks. Dude, they're wicked. You shut your mouth. I could do with some rockets. We'll have a no be merchant of the lucha libre. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I don't get the luchador obsession. Both of you yeah. Commonwealth racists. At all. Come on! So is this what, So you just gotta keep running back and forth, get more rockets and shoot them? I think he throws them eventually. Oh, that's where they're coming from. Dude, if you're Goku, man, go out Kamehameha on him. Man, I wish I could do that. Oh great, the rockets just fell over the side of the building. Oh, that's not good. It's not good at all. At least his aim is as bad as yours. Really bad? That one didn't even make it off his building. Come on, man! Hit me up with some rockets. Can you hit him from there with your machine gun? Does that even do anything? Nah, you need rockets. Hey, Pac-Man, Jimmy wants to know if you you would you would prefer, uh, like, a hockey gang to a luchador gang. You know, kind of um, like, kinda, kinda like the, the, the baseball furies from uh, the Warriors. <laughs> the Warriors. Yeah. Um, I want them all. I want all nice. the Warriors. There you go. Took them down. I'm proud of you, Kev. I'm just going to... Uh... Turn on the subtitles a sec. If I can, oh. Well, if I was gonna have someone wear masks, I'd, I'd find some some group of people that have a, a cool masks. So hockey won't do it for you either. Well, I suppose. Well, I suppose if it was all goalies, if it was a posse of goalies, because goalies are the ones who have the only ones who have really cool masks. Could be goalies, or maybe they could just be the guys in the helmet. Who knows? Get to the chopper! How many different air vehicles are in this game? Like 20? There's quite a few. There's uh, several different forms of UFOs that I've found so far. The last one had quite a few too, though. I mean, it had like four or five helicopters, three or four planes. Yeah. Well, you get the hover bike. And the hover bike, pretty, yes. Pretty early in this. The hover bike. The hover bike was the bomb. Oh, uh, VTOL's my go to. The hover bike was a VTOL, man. Yeah, I And know. it could go anywhere. It just didn't look Ooh. as cool. Nah, it didn't. I especially liked it if you went back and redid the mission and you got the black one. It's pretty fucking sweet. This is fucking incredible. It is. Well, look at this shit. He's chasing you and everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah this, is, this is awesome, dude. It is. For those of you who don't know, Volition is located in Champaign, Illinois, and apparently they have really great weed there, because look at this. <laughs> yeah, serious, seriously. Oh, this is about to go all Ghostbusters. <laughs> Ghostbusters 2, anyway. Aw, oh, don't go all Ghostbusters 2. Go Ghostbusters 1, the good one. Wait, which one had the walking Statue of Liberty? The second one. Yep, that's where this is going. The first one, they just had, like, the convoy. Dude. Come on. Nice, you're 
Again, how him? did they not get Bill Murray to have, make a small cameo? Like, he could have just run out and go, nobody steps on a church in my town, and then run away. That's all he had to do. Or they could have just pulled the clip from the movie. Come on, Kev, get him. I'm getting him. Hit him with the giant ladle. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is a ladle. I love like, that. Use the block button. What block button? There's a block button? That's the block button. Huh. Nah, I don't need no block button. Boom. Boom. Yeah, I get him. Nice. Let's make a monument. What I got. Nice. Saints Row 4, ladies and gents. Yes. And that was that favorite. was what a great piece to showcase in the Bramble, dude. That worked out so now well. I know you didn't even plan that, Kev. I'm nope. proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> the Saints flow. Man, it I must, love when he's getting abdu abducted. He's like, save yourself. No, fuck that. Save me. Man, it must be it must be cool to be some of the guys who have worked at Volition since the beginning, just to see how successful this series started out. Because the first two games really struggled quite a lot, and then yeah. three came out, and everything changed for them. That's because in the first, well, I did, the first one was just okay. I liked the second one more than I liked GTA 4, which came out then, just because I thought it was just better gameplay, more fun, more customization options and stuff like that. But and they, then the third they, came out, and it's like Grand Theft Two. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I mean, because it did for, it differentiate itself enough. That was the big problem. And, yeah. that, and then the third one, they they like, oh yeah, guess what? We made a game. It's totally different, and it's got boobs. Well, I mean, the first Damn. two were so were just super super low budget filler titles. Yeah. And man, whoever whoever pitched and got the money for them to do three the way they wanted to do three, you know, I hope he got a good bonus. Yeah, man. So this is the real world now. The Matrix. I I also like how you can nail anyone in your crew. All right. Nice. So one of the biggest things coming out about this game in the news was that you'd be able to a la Mass Effect, romance certain members of the crew. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, one of the funniest fucking things in the world, I'm trying to find it. Oh, la, la, la. oh god damn it, this is going to be some effort now, isn't it? Is Lawrence Fishburne going to show up and be like, welcome? Alright, first of all, here's a sex doll pilot in the ship, because why not? <laughs> yeah. Why not? You'll notice I have the bridge is almost set out like the Nebuchadnezzar from The Matrix yeah, as well. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Where's Lawrence Fishburne to say, welcome to the real world. Welcome to the desert of the real. <laughs> Neo. That was one of the funniest things I thought. Have you ever seen the Clerks animated cartoon series? Nah. Yeah. Like, there's one episode where uh, Dante keeps getting calls from, <laughs> from uh, Morpheus. He's like, Neo. Do you want to know about the Matrix? And he's like, No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> there's, he's like, he's, there's one time where he's like, Wait, 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 don't hang up. He's like, We could talk about other things, you know, sports, girls that have broken our hearts, the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find fucking. Oh, here she is. All right, so you want to romance someone? Rather than spending three quarters of a game talking to them and picking all the nice options, you just do this. X button. Nice. You gonna press it or okay? You gonna? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh snap! Now that now that's oh. how everything should go. Hey Kinsey, wow. wanna fuck? Let's go. Then she punches you. I, I, I like how she punches you in the face as the warm up. Yeah. Some girls like to hit, man. I've been there. <laughs> All right, let's go and find Pierce. Presumably he's got something to say. <laughs> So I got him out. Woo. I gotta say, I do find the kind of running around this this ship a little unnecessary. It's a little bigger than it needs to be. Mm -hmm. A la Mass Effect. 
Well, it, if only just because it doesn't accurately direct you where they are on the ship at any given time. So you kind of have to like run around and wander every time. Are you gonna try to have sex with him too? Look, look at that shark in the background. There's a there's a giant great white shark with a gold chain and a money symbol. That's from Zemos's apartment, man. Yeah, that's awesome. Which, Zemos had one of those in an apartment. Speaking of which, no Zemos so far in this game. Ah, oh, God, I love Zemos, man. He was like one of my favorite characters. I was a mate like. like Tune PM. Virtually every character from Saints Row 3 was a member of your staff in the White House at the beginning of the game, and no Zemos there. Going back into the Matrix. Uh, what shall I do now? Uh, do you have any of those Chaos missions that you can go do? Chaos. Chaos missions? You know, like, you know, like the Mayhem missions, where it's just like, destroy as much stuff as possible in a time limit? Oh, Here's some tech Mayhem, um, sir. What are they like? Uh, oh, that's all hacks. Break the rules of reality. Yeah, that's probably one. Oh, that's... Uh, Alright, this one's actually a pretty good one to show. Because in Saints Row 3, and I think in the second one as well, there was that thing where you just jump into traffic and try and get yeah. as much insurance yeah. fraud money as you can get. Yep. This is that to the nth degree. It's stupid. Stupid? Just wait for it to get going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I had to do that earlier, and it's like, because you could just keep going. Like, All right. to, like if you have the momentum, you'll just keep flipping down the street, pretty much. I'm underneath the bridge, which is not the best place to get started, but uh, here we go. <laughs> oh no, I hit a sign. Oh yeah, we're going on the freeway. Wow. And suddenly, this whole activity is way more fun than it was in the yes. previous game. Yes. Because the previous <laughs> games I just used to, uh, like, go for the freeway and just get hit by a Mack truck and that was pretty much it. But... Yep. This is wow. nowhere near fast enough. Yeah, so, <laughs> like, my biggest issue with the third game was you spent a lot of time getting these, like, side activities out of the way. Uh -huh. Just because they were necessary for story progression. And they were no fun to really do over and over again. But in this game, they've made it stupid. So it becomes way funnier. And they've done a clever thing Wait, in which... What the fuck you just blew? I know. <laughs> and they've done a clever thing in that, like Far Cry 3, they made all of the side optional content give you something for doing yeah. it. Unlike the third game where it was just, like, XP For money and respect. Yeah. In this, you actually get abilities that you can't get any other way unless and you do this. And so and weapons guns. and stuff, yeah. It's just unlocks in general, so they're like all... Uh, oh, I guess... Where are we? They'll be in upgrades. So, like, you can go to bonuses, and there are things here that... <coughs> oh, it doesn't actually have it in bonuses. Where will it be? Uh... Upgrades, maybe? I don't know, Kev. Where would it be? Where would it be, Dave? I don't know, man. You're the one that's 15 hours in. Yeah. I'm actually... Oh, I'm... No. Don't matter. I'm in the middle of a quest, so I can't look at it. But there is a screen that tells you where all the upgrades are for, like, what activities you have to do to get them. There's a big old challenges list as well, which has a lot to do with it. It's yay, weird. yay. It's just... It's ridiculous. And you get better stuff depending on whether you get bronze, silver, or gold in all of these activities. Can you imagine the chaos if humanity could actually, like, had any of these powers? Uh, yeah, we would have to fly nowhere. <laughs> there wouldn't be much of a world left. In right. a world where everybody can do things. Just hit this car... Oh man, Head. I haven't got a decent... This gets stupid at a certain point. If you can... There we go. This looks like a good start. <laughs> wow. Wow. Boom! And if you can hit multiple cars somehow, 
Then you can keep that rolling so well. <laughs> yep. Boom. Run! It's just getting that ball rolling. There we go. Up in the air and. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. So dumb. It's so good. It, it's so much better because you look like Goku. <laughs> Actually, what he's doing right now, that's every Dragon Ball Z series ever. It's like everybody else is getting their ass kicked and Goku is running. And the whole time in the back, I don't know if you can hear this on the stream, but I've just got Aerosmith playing in the background. No one will me. I need to give absolute credit to Volition for getting the permission to use Stan Bush's The Touch in this game as well, which... There is no better joy in life than using your superpowers in this game while listening to the touch from the Transformers, the original movie. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. good. I, I, I do like the, the fact that, for, you know, cause so many games have soundtrack music, and then they edit it, and it's like, you know, there's little beeps or whatever, or stupid filler words instead of swear words. All the swear words are in this game, which is nice. Oh, 100%. Well, Here we go! Boom! Well, I don't Howdy. know, man. That initial jump sequence, when you have to do that one, I did that to Song 2, Blood the Blur. That's a good one that, to do also. That was pretty epic. I've managed to narrow it down to, like, four or five tracks that just are epic to listen to while you're jumping around like a maniac. I mean, those two are in there. Aerosmith is in there. Uh, Presence of the USA's Lump. <laughs> and there's a song by In Flames on this soundtrack that is uh, in there as well and works really well. And, and let us not forget Paula Abdul. Oh, of course. Yeah. Paula Abdul in there. Because <laughs> I'm dressed like Oh! <laughs> One that I personally really like. Uh, what's his face? Uh, is it Montel Jordan? Montel Jordan? Yeah, this yeah, is how we is do Montel it. Jordan. One hit wonder from the 90s? Yeah. I mean, he had like two hits. Um, this is how we do it was the big one, though. Yeah. I kind of wish that this game, like, even though it doesn't matter, this game isn't being sold on graphics. It would be really cool if everything looked really realistic and it was still this wacky. That's Saints Row the Fifth, my friend. So what you can do is, you know that whole filter that's over the game right now in the Matrix? Yeah. Apparently when the game's finished, you get the ability to unlock different filters. So oh, really? you can go back to normal Saints Row 3 look, which is just standard daytime. Or you can do like black and white and you can do like thermal filter and stuff like that. It's yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Whee! It makes you wonder, will Saints Row the fifth one will be like pour out of fifth, you think? I don't know if there's gonna be a five after this one, because what's left to do now? At the end of three, you kind of think, what is there left for these guys to do? They've, they've made open world the best it can be. Um, and then no, they, I mean, they... Uh, fully destructible environment. And then they make this. And then, what what do you do after this? Fully destructible environments. I just... No, I just mean, we're going to end this ramble in a sec. I just want to end with this. But, they, but there's also a plot point in this, which makes a, you know, another, a new one, you know, if they make a new one, they're going to have to really come be, do something creative. Because one of the things that happens in the storyline in this game is pretty extreme. Oh, it's there are several extreme. things. This, <laughs> this is what happens when you get too close to the vortex, man. Yeah, everyone gets distorted. Everyone turns into the thing from James Cameron's seminal, seminal classic. <laughs> Which I actually watched yesterday. Still a really James, good movie. James Cameron, the thing? Not James Cameron. What the fuck am I talking about? Um, uh, uh, John Craig. Carpenter. John Carpenter, yeah. Do where the fuck yeah. do I get James Cameron from? I don't know. I was about to say. Uh, I don't know where that came and from. John Carpenter had the worst the worst luck with movies, though. Like, Dude, but he made some great ones. They Live. Uh, big Trouble in Little China. The Thing. 
The thing. Yeah, uh, the thing is a great horror movie. It's one of the best. My, mind you, Stephen King's got an equally pretty atrocious track record with his films. Like some of them were really good, and a lot of them were really bad. Yeah, most of them are bad. But yeah, didn't he really write cool. Shawshank Redemption? Yeah, he did. So and, boom. And and Green Mile. Yeah, but Green Mile nowhere near Shawshank. Well, what else did he do? Stand by Me. A whole yep. bunch of movies. He also did The Langoliers. Uh, Christine. Christine wasn't Pet, bad. Pet Cemetery was good. Pet Cemetery was pretty cool. The I've, uh, so much. I've purposefully tried to not spoil the powers too much, especially since I only have a few of them so far, but just for the record, later in the game you get to do this. Uh, wait for it. Wait, 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 wait. Stephen King also did Carrie. Right up. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, can I say, I saw a preview for the new carry, and apparently it's going to go in a completely different direction. It actually looks pretty good, actually, you know. Like, apparently she's just going to run around and destroy people, like, for half the movie. Cool, good. All creepily. That's awesome. Well, I mean, the, the, the original carry is, is, it actually holds up, too, if, you, if you're into those kind of movies. Like, it's yeah. actually still really well done. Well, we were talking about it on Flicks, and it was like... You know, the big thing about Carrie is that Sissy Spacek is not a beautiful woman. Yeah. At all. And, and uh, Chloe Mortez or whatever her name is, she's a cute kid. Right. So it's like, I don't understand. Like, so that's why I don't get the whole her being picked on. Usually it's the ugly girl that gets picked on. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, Sissy Spacek really plays up the whole, like, damaged young girl really yeah, well. Yeah, but, but she was also ugly. Yeah, but I mean, she was actually a good actress. Oh yeah. So, so we don't we don't know if this new Carrie chick's gonna be all that good. First of all, Hit Girl can do it, all right. Don't you don't you deny her? She's been packing heat since she was eight, man. <laughs> yeah, I got I gotta I gotta see um, Kick Ass too. I was supposed I to watch it tonight, it. but someone didn't answer their email in time. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> you emailed me apparently at like 4 o'clock in the morning my time or something ridiculous. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. I'm not going to watch this. Can you, imagine, can you imagine being a bum at the other side of that alley? Degree just going at him? Well, Captain Tornado strolls through. <laughs> but like, just, just think about what open world games are going to be like in like five years where the cities will, will really have city amounts of people. Because that, these that cities are... annoying. Well, no, but I mean, like, you could you could fill, like, you could have, like, you know, like, the crowd scenes from Hitman Absolution. Like, you could do that much more often and, and really have cities be living things. Like, like imagine this, only you could go in buildings. <laughs> and, 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 not in some, and, and not in some cheap, you know, hollowed out, you know, repasted kind of way. Like, I want one where, uh, see, that's what Saints Row the Fifth needs to happen. Fifth of Vodka or whatever, or Fifth of Saints Flow. Whatever it is they want to put in the in the fifth, that's why it needs to happen because you need to be able to rip through buildings like the Hulk did in the Avengers. Yeah, like just bust through one side and out the other. That would be amazing. All right, well, I think that's about time we call it a ramble. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Waka waka. We are out. Stay frosty, everybody. Boom. Ah! Goku!